want to be a weatherman. Who doesn't? It's a great job. You get paid to be wrong. Last Saturday, I was wrong. Boy, boy, did it snow on Friday night. One of the biggest storms of the season, really, as far as density of snow and quality. Believe it or not, there was a foot or more of snow here at Mount Mansfield and a bluebird on Sunday. It was 87 degrees in Albany, New York on Tuesday. Mount Washington went up to 51. We lost about, oh, maybe two or three feet of snow. So that only left us with about 80 inches left. Thank you, Scott Brayton, for this little tour. I went up on Wednesday, nice skiing, and we took a core sample of the snow and came up with more than 80 inches of snow containing more than 27 inches of water. Stay tuned after the credits for more on this. What's the forecast now? Well, here down by the water, uh, spring has sprung. And on the cooler side of the front, temperatures today were still close to 60. Uh, now it's Thursday afternoon and warm front's coming in. And we're going to warm it up a little bit for our weekend. So Saturday probably starts off dry with some sunshine. Clouds are going to race in. It ultimately is going to turn a little bit wet and probably fog and drizzle late Saturday, Saturday night, early Sunday. Easter sunrise service could be damp. But uh, south of the Mount Washington Valley, it's probably going to turn dry Sunday afternoon with the temperature pushing 70 at the bases of the mountains and about uh, 55 to 60 up top. And uh, some of the places uh, further south, Boston, where the marathon is going to go on Monday, uh, be in the 70s near 80 again for Easter. So spring has really sprung. Record warmth, though, didn't dent the snow. There's still plenty of it. If you're going in the glade, you'll find some soft snow after this freeze cycle goes away, which is happening like that. You may have to do a little river crossing. Who doesn't mind a river crossing? That's what makes us strong. Ski the east. <laughs> uh, still some pond skimming events coming up. And there'll be ski resorts that stay open until May. But as far as ski reports go, I think you're more interested in the golf course and uh, what's going to happen down by the ocean. I know I am. Although I want to go skiing again. Tuckerman should have snow right into June this year. Uh, let's go back to Tim in the mountains. Yeah, I know. It's a little sad leaving a mountain full of snow behind. But uh, it's that time of year. Time to think about going surfing. Actually, I uh, brought the moving van up. We got about four or five pairs of skis and uh, enough room for a surfboard. Uh, so until next year, we'll see you at the shore. Uh, have we reached China yet? Can you uh, huh? step on it a little bit more? I think we found the ground. Oh, maybe not. So how, how long is that tube? 60 inches. 60, so we're at 60 plus about 20, so it's 80 anyway. It seems difficult to get a perspective how deep the snow is here. But if you were standing on the ground, your head would be under the snow. Right here. So we have overhead depth. Yeah, probably 80 plus inches. Now we got to get the bit back out. <laughs> So you jammed 80 inches of snow in there? <laughs> I think so. I hope we reached the ground. There's no organic material underneath. We're weighing the snow because one inch of water weight weighs the same no matter how much snow it is. Ah, oh, magic. Go ahead. Oh, around the dial. It goes all the way around the dial and ends at the, the scale will not go past 27 there. Two plus the 25. We have so we maxed it out. More than two feet of water in our snowpack here? Yeah, that's 27 inches, but there's more than that. It's just the scale won't go past that. Oh my goodness, a couple feet of snow. I mean, water. a couple feet of water, yeah. potential flooding. But what about 1,000 feet? You know, we're at three something right now. 3,000 feet, we'll go down there and do that. Yeah, incredible snow amounts at 112 on Saturday. And, uh, and then this heat wave. So how did the heat wave affect the snowpack? Uh, we definitely lost some serious snow, but uh, at the same time, there's a lot left, basically consolidated. Yeah, so would you estimate we lost maybe uh, 18 inches? Uh, yeah, something, something like that. Equivalent to a three inch rainstorm? Probably, at least. I mean, there's still 20 inches here at uh, 1,600 feet. How are the rivers responding? Very high. Very high. So uh, a cool down is going to help a lot yes. to prevent flooding. Yes. We are checking out. This is the skier's right of nosedive. Remember last time we looked in here, it was too scratchy? <laughs> Jeepers creepers, you can still ski it and it's just soft enough. Uh, tomorrow when the temperature goes down, you probably won't be coming in here. 